Mirror's Edge is absolute classic and if it wasn't for this game, who knows if Dying Light would ever exist, considering that it's an entire prequel. You play as Faith, one of the runners in the city somewhere in Europe. Runners deliver packages to their clients via parkour and using rooftops as their main paths. They are independent from GRE and other organizations. Since this is a prequel, there are no zombies, but it doesn't mean that there is no combat in the game. In fact, most of the runners, as part of their training, have to rewatch John Wick series every year. Combat consists mainly of melee, melee attacks. It's not complicated, you can disarm enemies with various cool animations or you can perform combos like Bruce Lee. But the meat of the gameplay is parkour. It's the best parkour system ever created, although sometimes janky, it serves its purpose and is satisfying to perform. The animations still hold up to this day despite that the game was released in 2009. The game is short but the story answers a lot of questions of where the Haran virus come from and why GRE is evil. The story begins with training. Faith and her bestie run around and play with toys. After that, Kyle Crane's stepbrother, Caleb, gives them assignment and sends Faith and Celeste to deliver one package. During this mission, suddenly GRE forces appear in front of Faith and try to take over the package. Usually runners don't ask what's inside, but this makes Faith curious about whole situation. After almost getting shot to death, Faith gives Celeste the package and escapes with total fashion jumping on the chopper. Unable to sleep, Faith stays up all night, when suddenly she gets information about shootout in corporation where her sister Kate works. She immediately runs to the spot to check out if her sister is safe. Turns out that someone shot GRE agent. Someone faked his murder as if he jumped to the back of rusty knives. Faith's sister is found on the spot but admits that she is being framed, but there is no time to chat because GRE top soldiers are on their way. Faith has to run away while her sister stays behind, but takes a small note that was in victim's hand as a clue that might lead her to the answer. This situation makes Faith even more curious about what was in the package and what is going on altogether. Caleb tells her to get in touch with one of the ex-GRE agent named Jackass. He might have some answers or whereabouts on where to look for the next clue. To reach him, she has to go to canals where she finds snipers guarding something. She took out the snipers but there was no time to check out what they were guarding because more GRE soldiers appear. During her escape, Faith stumbles across Jackass. He challenges her to play tag if she wants to get any information from him. Faith agrees and chase sequence starts. It ends up abruptly when Jackass falls on his ass and fractures his entire spine. Faith catches up to him and interrogates him about who faked the death of GRE agent and why. Jackass tells her about a policeman named Frank that works for GRE. He is one of the top in GRE ranks. Faith finds him in dingy parking lot and interrogates him about the package. Frank says he doesn't know what was inside but he knows who is the receiver. His name is Robert, another GRE top dog. He also mentions Faith's sister and asks Faith why she killed GRE agent. Faith answers that Kate got framed and she also looks for a way to work this out. Faith immediately rushes to Robert's office and eavesdrops a conversation between him and someone who might be potential buyer. As she breaks the vents, the alarm starts and she has to quickly look for a way out. After a big shootout on the rooftops, the military choppers start chasing Faith. This stirs up only more and more questions about about what is in the package. She escapes into the underground garage where she encounters Frank for the second time. He is angry that she survived and wanted to kill her on the spot. Faith disarms him and asks for the last time what is going on with the package. Frank explains that she shouldn't ever get in the possession of it and that it's classified intel for GRE. He says that it's some kind of weapon. Faith decides to lay down her gun. Frank tells her where Robert hides and sets her off. When she finds Robert, he attacks her charging with metal pipe. She dodges the attack and Robert slips. While hanging, she interrogates him about the package when suddenly he gets shot in the back by a mysterious sniper. The GRE soldiers are in the building, so Faith has to quickly escape. She escapes to the subway while GRE soldiers chase her to the very end. She dispatches some of them and escapes by jumping onto one of the trains. It's nighttime and Faith meets up with her bestie Celeste to tell her about this entire situation. After Celeste says for the seventh time, damn that's crazy, they split up and she leaves Faith with her thoughts. It's another day and Jackass calls her to meet up in shopping mall, but the GRE soldiers already know about this meetup. On her way, Faith has to fight with them. When she arrives to the mall, she fights off more GRE soldiers when suddenly she stumbles upon mysterious sniper again. She chases him down, but he escapes yet again. 
Faith is angry at Jackass for standing her up. She tracks him down and beats him. He explains himself that he didn't set her up and when he saw GRE soldiers he just dodged the entire mall. Faith notices some weird billboard of some security agency and asks Caleb about it. He tells her where it's located. When Faith arrives to the spot there is a lot of GRE soldiers there, despite that the agency isn't connected to them. This only raises questions and Faith wants answers. She breaks into the facility and after finding hidden entrance she makes her way into secret GRE facility. She finds a computer and searches the package ID. Turns out that the content of the package is the virus with destination to Haram and runners are hunted for stealing it from GRE. Faith doesn't know who stole it and wanted to look it up when suddenly she gets attacked by GRE's enhanced soldiers named Hunters trained to hunt down the runners. She escapes to the parkour course that was set in this facility to train these enhanced soldiers. When she makes her way out of the facility it's not over yet. The Hunters are everywhere but Faith jumps onto one of the trains escaping them. Caleb tells Faith about the GRE ship that was about to sail to Haran. She rushes to the harbor to stop it. She finds her way to the ship when she stumbles upon Mysterious Sniper yet again, but this time she doesn't let him escape. After a brief boss fight, it turns out that the mysterious sniper was Celeste all along. She admits that she stole the virus to sell it for a big price so the runners wouldn't have to live on the edge of the law anymore. She also apologizes about framing Kate cause she didn't know she was Faith's sister. Celeste tells Faith that Jackass has the virus and is going to give it back to the GRE. While they were chatting, GRE soldiers caught up to them and started shooting. Faith reaches for Celeste's gun and shoots explosive barrels and destroying the ship. It's another day and Caleb tells Faith that Jackass stations in the highest building in the city waiting for extraction. He also tells her that there will be GRE convoy driving to the streets to bring him back up. So it's in Faith's best interest to stop it. She makes her way to abandoned construction site and climbs to the sniper's nest. She shoots the engine of the truck making it crash and stopping the convoy. Faith quickly leaves the station and rushes down the building to escape but GRE soldiers from the convoy made their way into it. After a massive shootout, Faith makes her way out and rushes to the runner's hiding place, but discovers that it has been run down by GRE. She finds Caleb shot, but still breathing. He tells her that Jackass came with the hunters and killed everyone. Faith apologizes for everything, saying that it wasn't supposed to end like this. Caleb tells her that she shouldn't be sorry, cause he doesn't find her guilty. He then dies in her arms. Faith decides to kill Jackass for everything and destroy the virus. She heads into the tower to the main entrance and gets jumped by Frank and GRE soldiers. When they were about to approach her, Frank kills them revealing that he's always been on Faith's side. He tells her that the virus can't end up in the wrong hands and that he will cover her back while she makes her way to the top. After another massive shootout and quick parkour session, she takes the elevator to the top. Frank informs her that the chopper is about to arrive. She shoots her way to the helipad where she finds Jackass holding Kate hostage. He gives a monologue about how he's gonna get rich and the virus is going to ravage Haran while he is a billionaire. He then orders his goon to kill Faith but she manages to run towards the chopper and kick Jackass off of it. While going down he shoots his gun damaging the chopper. Kate slips from the chopper and hangs on the edge of the building. Faith jumps to help her and catches her just in time. But Kate reveals that Jackass already gave GRE the virus and there is no way of stopping them now. Who knows what's gonna happen now, but at least Faith and Kate are safe.